part two of uh, your third lesson. So we were just looking at the multo perpetual. Um, so like I said, in the B section, we had the open A um, starting on the A scale, uh, on the, the A scale starting on the open A. And the next measure, if you see in the sequential pattern, which is really great, is that we start on the next note, right? So which is great, because now you're starting on first finger, right? Mm -hmm. So that will introduce you to, now I'm on first finger, two, three, instead of open two, three. You have to think about your finger pattern mm -hmm. sooner than yeah. you would starting on the first finger, right? So the oh. B. Right. Now, <laughs> that's something we have in a... Thank you for asking. Sorry, I did not no, address I... that. So, basically, I think I mentioned last time to you in the lesson, is that an open string crossed over, you know, on the major mm -hmm. scale, is the same thing as a fourth finger, right? right? right. So, if we did A, B, C, D, E, right. same note, right? Yeah. So, let's pretend there's another string, right? If this was like a guitar and there's a B string, there's B, the open B string would be the yeah. same as the fourth finger, right? Okay? So that's the idea there. Um, cool. So let's take it from there. So we know that we go up to the top octave, and then we drop back down to the first finger, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's give that a try. You ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. No, I'm sorry, and we're not including so, the slurs. Okay. So separate. Just, ba, yeah. da, da, da. Yep. Oh, there you go. Good. And we're going to go up the scale. Here we go. Ready? Go. Good. Good. Okay, keep going. Okay, all okay. right. So, so second finger? Right now we have the first finger? Yeah. Oops. Good, fourth finger. Mm -hmm. Now we have, and see how we're moving up. Yeah. Each measure moves up. Mm -hmm. Now we're starting on second finger. Now we have good third uh, finger. Good. good. Now we're at measure ten. Same principle as last time. We move back down to first finger on the same string. Good. Mm -hmm. Same as before. We move up to second finger. Still on the E string this time. Mm -hmm. Good. So cool. I hope that okay. makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. We are, we're definitely going to stop here. So that's a really cool um, uh, passage because it's all sequential and you can mark at the beginning of the measure where the next finger would be mm -hmm. to help you remember. It's good to have the placements and the arpeggios we really have that, uh, the tonic, the third, and the fifth. So there, any other note is just a step away and you can figure out where the finger would be from there involving the tonic, third, and fifth and then figuring out the whole and half steps with the mm -hmm. basic principles of our fingers.